Between the warrior kingdoms of Mewar and Marwar stands the oft-forgotten rugged landscape of Gorwad, home to the mystical town Najlai. Inspiring a hundred acts of bravery and passion, no wanderer has passed Najlai without being strangely affected by its power. While some have gone on to becoming a legend, others await the right moment to reveal their story and cast their own spell on the next unsuspecting visitor. Thus the magic lives on. Our car ride from Ido Udaipur or Jodhpur will bring you to Ravla Narlai. I'm staying here at a 17th century former hunting villa owned and run by the Jodhpur family, the Rathors. Why come all this way? Well, for one, this is a beautiful property. And secondly, Narlai's unique position between the former kingdoms of Mewar and Marwar means that the people here have adopted stories from both kingdoms. Stories of love and passion and betrayal has snuck past these former territories to be adopted by the people of Narlai. So I'm going to explore the property after I settle in. With generations of intermarriage between Mewar and Marwar, palaces were rather routinely exchanged as dowry, and Ravla Narlai, the summer palace originally built by Mewar's mighty Rana Kum, eventually came to belong to Marwar's Rathors. In its more recent history, Ajit Singhji, the younger brother of Maharaja Umed Singhji of Jodhpur, is said to have been gifted this hunting lodge when he saved his elder brother from the deadly might of a rogue elephant. Tales of Rajput heroism are legendary, but the one retold most often in Natale has a famous heroine. Long, long ago, the independent hamlet of Toda was home to a warrior princess. Bewitched by her sword, Princess Taramati fiercely guarded her land from the incessant invaders who brought so much sorrow to her people. Several suitors, the princess vowed that she would only marry he who promised to protect her country. And today the news has traveled that this little town has something to offer the world traveler. A luxurious tucked away heritage hotel where for anywhere between five to eight thousand rupees a night you can live amid ancestral artifacts and touches of contemporary design. Detailed frescoes in the Mardana depict the pastimes and achievements of long-gone nobles. And the whimsical paintings in the Zanana reveal what a lazy afternoon in Parda might have felt like.